Hello, Power Aiders. I'm Power Nate. And I'm the Mountain. And today we're going to be reviewing uh, Power Aid Ultra White Cherry. Now, can you tell me a little bit about this uh, White Cherry Power Aid Ultra? Is that you heard? You yes, said? yes. Power Aid Ultra. Interesting. Um, so something that really sticks out to me is it's not very white. It's more of a yellowy color. Yeah, I was gonna say um, it really gives me like um, like a sort of lemon juice or like mm -hmm. a lemon or like a perhaps a pineapple juice kind of color a little bit. It's not very white. It's more. It's an off white, perhaps. Yeah, and I guess that's kind of for the better mm -hmm. because I don't. It would look kind of weird, I think, to be drinking something that's like like milk white. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think like milk like or paint. Yeah, when you think of a color like white, you really. It's not appetizing. Really. It's not very appetizing. No, but this, it's kind of like just off enough. And I'm sure there's, we haven't gotten to the ingredients yet, but I'm sure there's something in there that is uh, helping to contribute to this sort of very tinge of, of color that you're getting. And also, I will say it actually looks quite nice with this label. We have not mm -hmm. uh, commented on the labels. Ah, much, yes. But so um, it's like a silver label with this gold top. And it looks actually very nice. That's silver. It's it's pretty shiny. Yeah, it's like a silver, it's like a shiny grayish kind of color. Is that? Yeah, well, see, I'm colorblind, so it's I can't it's, tell it's, if it's, it's a little goldish silver, perhaps. Okay, okay. I was just I just wanted to make sure my eyes were working like correctly. Like this sort of there's a section here in the front. I'm not sure if we can show this to our audience, but there's a section in the front that's definitely kind of gold, and then mm -hmm. you get to this nutrition facts, and that's definitely silver. Really? Yeah. So like, kind of go back. So like, oh wait, I see it yeah, now. I see, see it. it. Yeah. There's a difference there. Distinctly. Okay. Yeah, because this one, this is more of a... Yeah, you can even see, like, the... Yeah, there's actually a line look, in the design, which is you, actually very impressive. Let me see, where is it? Yeah, if you look right about where the zero sugar is, mm -hmm. you can see there's a bit of a line that separates the gold and silver part of the label. Um, So, yeah. And I, I'm going to say, I mean, that makes it look very classy. It does. As far as sports drinks, though, you could it's not... It's very it. subtle, but it, it does contribute overall to the presentation of the drink, I'd yeah. say. Um... Should we get right into the nutrition facts, or...? I think so. I mean, tell me what's in this. Or, yeah, or what's the ingredients, really? Yeah, so, um... It's kind of just your run-of-the-mill sports drink in terms of nutrition facts. Got 16% mm -hmm. of your daily value of sodium. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of sodium, but... There's a lot. But assume, this is for someone who's going to be working out, so you kind of need yeah. those electrolytes. You do need an electrolyte. Of which there are 50% more uh, than your standard run-of-the-mill Powerade. Mm -hmm. Um, jumping right into the ingredients... We have water, the BCAAs, which mm -hmm. is L-leucine, L-isoleucine, and L-valine. It's my favorite. Uh, it's my favorite, too. How'd you know? I just know. Less than 1% of uh, citric acid, uh, creatine monohydrate, uh, electrolytes such as salt, magnesium and calcium chlorides, uh, as well as monopotassium phosphate, uh, sodium citrate, uh, it has natural flavors, pea fiber, mm -hmm. uh, lecithin, lectin, or lecithin, lecithin, lectin, lecithin? Sucralose. sucralose, ace sulfame K, Modified food starch. Mm -hmm. uh, it has calcium disodium EDTA, which is to protect color. Uh, MCT SAIB, vitamins B3, B6, and B12. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the hard to pronounce section, we have uh, niacinamide, pyridoxine, and hydrochlor. Uh, wait, no, it's pyridoxine hydrochloride and um, cyanocobla. Cyanocobalamin. Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting better. I hope I, think I am. You, it sounds like it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, something I think we forgot to mention in the last Powerade Ultra review is the fact that you're in much smaller bottles than your oh, average yeah. run-of-the-mill Powerade. What's the, um, what's the fluid ounces looking like? Uh, we got 20 fluid ounces in here, and I believe the normal Powerade is 28. I think that's correct, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it was 828 milliliters. I remember, I remember that it was, um, the was normal Powerade had 1.75 pints, I believe. Yeah, 1.75 pints. This has 1.25 so pints. So you're getting half a pint less. Yeah. Interesting. The cuckoo clock has returned. It has. How long have we been here? Long enough. Oh, 
This is Oh My Darling, Clementine. I remember, uh, who was that, uh, who was that, like, boomerang character? It was, uh, what's his name? Huckleberry Hound, that was yeah. him. Yeah, he used yeah, to yeah. sing this Hanna song. Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How could we forget? Lovely cartoon. Excellent cartoon. Not one of my favorite. It's not. I I will say this. It's not my favorite Hanna Barbera. I'd say my favorite's probably the Scooby? Jetsons. Oh, Jetsons are good. Scooby's good. I really like the Jetsons. It's a, it's a good Flintstones. one. Flintstones. I personally think I'm not a huge fan of the Flintstones. I would say the Jetsons are better. Mm -hmm. Even though it's it's a similar kind of family dynamic. Um. Yeah, Rosie. Everyone loves Rosie. Yeah. I think yeah. I think overall, just the Jetsons. I don't know. Just. Well, he well, here's the thing. Let's um, let's get into sort of um, you know, the terms of the show here that we're doing. Which one do you think would be more accepting of Powerade? Do you think Fred Flintstone was like Powerade? What do you think George Jetson? See, realistically speaking, I think that Fred Flintstone would like Powerade more than George Jetson. Do you? That's because, because um, just thinking about him, he's he, he. I believe he he does a lot of physical work. Hmm. And, you know, George Jetson in the world of the Jetsons, everything is really automated and stuff. So he's probably not really looking to drink Powerade. They have their sort of dehydrated foods. Mm -hmm. And but plus everything, if you remember, everything they need really just comes in a pill. That's true. I, but also I would say I think Powerade, especially Powerade Ultra, really speaks to that ethos of that sort of retrofuturism vibe. Mm -hmm. Where you have this sort of single drink that you drink and it's got all the vitamins that you need. It's got all the electrolytes it's got, you need. It's got all the BCAAs that you need. And I think really it sort of speaks to that sort of like like the 50s or 60s or something. Um, that sort of time period where they think, oh, you know, in the future. And I think even at the time, sports drinks were starting to become a thing sort of late into the sort of 20th century. Mm -hmm. So I would say that like, I think this actually is something of that time that would actually make sense to the creators of the Jetsons. And I think something that would sort of reflect and echo back into the creation of that show. I think what it is, is that from a more practical perspective, this would appeal to, from from sort of the whole practical aspect of Powerade, you know, it replenishes mm -hmm. electrolytes, this would appeal to Fred Flintstone. But just sort of looking at the sort of, you know, ethos. The design. The design, all of that that goes into it's this. It's very space age. It is say. very space age. And I, for that reason, I think George Jetson would be a fan of Powerade Ultra. Yes. I think the actual design of the bottle itself and what it stands for, I think um, George Jetson would be a fan of. I will see that perhaps um, Fred Flintstone would get a lot out of it because he does he does do a lot of running. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have cars, but however, they of course are powered by feet. Yes. Um, so I think really- That would exert a lot of energy. Yeah, so he'd I be think that would... sweating a lot. And honestly, uh, electrolytes, Powerade especially, would be really good for that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time we crack this one yeah, open. Yeah, I'm very interested. Take a quick sip. Ooh, I love that sound. It's a nice sound. It's how you know you're getting into a nice bottle of Powerade. Thank you Alrighty. so much. This is a very opaque, um, Ooh. very opaque liquid. You think? I think it's actually not too, I think it's cause it's white. We're expecting it to be a lot clearer. Maybe. But it's cloudy. I mean, it definitely has that sort of lemon juice color that I mentioned previously, where mm -hmm. you can kind of just, it's not completely white. It's a mm. little yellow. It does have a, it does have a, a nice scent to it, Ooh, I must that say. that is a great scent. It is, it is a lot better than some It smells like, almost like a peach. Like a fresh peach. Yeah, Which is I interesting agree. because it has, it's supposed to be a cherry, I believe, is it not? Mm-hmm. Oh man. It does smell, it smells nice. It I'm smells not looking good. forward to this one. Yeah, so am I. Cheers. Cheers. What are what are your thoughts on the the Powerade? I quite enjoyed that. Actually. I agree. It was a very nice Powerade, I must say. Yeah, like there's something about the actual flavor itself. It's 
it is cherry, but there's actually like some like interesting hints in there. Yeah, like there's some flavors. hints of other flavors. I think one of them could potentially be the sort of like I'm I'm tasting a bit of a peach in there yeah, as well. Yeah, there's definitely like a peachy sort of like there's, juiciness in there. But in as in a well, I think that whatever is in there besides the cherry flavor complements the cherry flavor that is already in there very well. Oh yeah, it's like and there's like a little nuttiness, and I know we talked about we touched briefly on this and the. In the um the lemon the citrus blast i believe it was mm -hmm. um where the sucralose is not doing it's not really helping this actually it gives it like a little nuttiness that i quite like see i mean this is i'm keep in mind i'm not a very big fan of sucralose and artificial no, sweeteners never mind. It's, that's true. but um i still think it was like the flavor was strong enough and good enough at that to sort of balance out with uh, the art yeah. that sort of artificial sweetener bitterness that usually comes with it yeah like it's it's interesting because normally i am not uh, a fan of these sort of things um you know i'm not like a an executive on these uh, matters or anything but like i i assume that the ultra is supposed to like be marketed towards those people who are like very fit and you know they like they they need the extra electrolytes that um normal people don't necessarily need but like Something about adding it and like the creatine and the BCAAs and all that such, it's just like, it's really like adding to like the feeling that I'm getting from this mm -hmm. drink. Like, like it's, it's not necessarily something that you can taste. And upon, I, I just took another sip not too long ago and I'm kind of also just kind of to get back on track with, um, the other flavors that sort of make up this drink. I'm kind of getting a sort of orangey taste yeah, to it as well. Yeah, I was literally going to just say there's like a hint of the orange. It's like that sort of similar tanginess. Mm-hmm. And I think that even this, it's, I think what's just kind of, if if you re recall from our um, our orange Powerade review, we kind of mentioned the fact that it was, it, it didn't, it didn't, it was a bit bitter. Mm -hmm. it was and too tangy, too much, I think, for yeah. what it was. But here I, I think it, it's, it's in a, such a small puckering. quantity There's a that minor... it, it, it helps complement the oh, rest absolutely. of the beverage. This, I'm actually, like, genuinely a big fan of this. This is actually a very good yeah. a very good drink. I'd actually... Uh, well, we only got the Ultra uh, Cherry Powerade as of right now, but I'm yes. very excited to try the normal one. Yes, I mean... Because I'm... even with the artificial sweetener, this is a very good Powerade. It is delicious. We're going in for seconds here, I'm noticing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very good one. I have very little left. It's very good. You want me to top you off real quick? Um, save it for later. Okay. Thank you. I was, I was getting a bit yeah. excited over there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's not really too much to say here. It's just genuinely a very good flavor of Powerade. And yeah. Like, I, it, go on. I was going to say, like, I know it's probably psychological. Um, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know the effects of calling something ultra and, like, what that says about the brand. I would say this is an ultra drink. I would mm -hmm. say... This is definitely an ultra... This is definitely yeah. a Powerade for someone who's very... Active. Like, very active. And I think if you were, you know, if you had a, a big game, you know, you're at, you know, your football, your high school football match or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, you're down, you know, it's the it's the final quarter or whatever. I don't, I don't know, what's the sport? Fourth quarter? Fourth quarter? Yeah, something like that. Um, and let's say you, you got this great touchdown and you're super happy, you're excited, you're celebrating... Everyone's cheering, and someone gave you a delicious glass of this beautiful Powerade Ultra, this cherry, this white elixir of the gods. I would be very, very pleased about it. Mm -hmm. This I mean, is a very good drink. It's it's so quenching. It's got the electrolytes. It's just, it's got everything you crave. It's just like a, it's a an very good drink. drink. I... It's nuanced, but it's not so insane that it like kind of detracts. Like I, mm -hmm. I would say the um. Excuse me. Um, the fruit punch that we had, it was very good. It was a little light. This is considerably stronger, but yeah. I think it's good. It the the flavor that it has warrants that strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely much more. It's similar in the sense that it's a, a blend of several other flavors, but I think here since it's masquerading as cherry, but it's sort of you know a little more than it might appear to be. Um, I think that's actually made me very excited about this drink. The normal, uh, yeah, like, 
I'm just, I'm very excited to try the, thanks because of how good just the ultra no sugar artificial yeah. sweetener version is, I'm very excited to try the, um, the normal cherry powered on this channel. Oh, absolutely. What would you, um, what would you rate this? Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get to, I'm thinking, I'd probably rate this either a 6 or a 6.5 out of 7. Ooh, I think I would also go for the 6 out of 7. I want to reserve a point for the sugar, the sugared food. Mm, this is true. I, I think I'll, I think, yeah. I don't want to, I want to say it's a 5.5 out of 7, but it's really good. Yeah, it is a very, I, I think, I think that 6 Six out of seven is a more realistic. Yeah, I think six out of seven is. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it gives room for improvement yes. over. But I mean, overall, it's, it's it's a very good drink. I mean, this might be the best one we've had so far. This is definitely the, the best Powerade we've had Absolutely. on this channel so far. Should I should I finish it? If you'd like, I, is I'll, that I'll finish it on camera. Yeah. Wow. That's just incredible. It's, it's a like, great drink. Maybe there's like a hint of like apricot in there or something. Mm. Apricot, apricot. Um, it's just like very complex and like very deep, um, very full bodied. Uh, it's, it's nutty, somewhat, as I said. It's it's a very bold flavor. It is that very makes bold. Sense. I, I quite enjoyed that. Probably one of Powerade's boldest flavors, I'd say. Absolutely, absolutely. But um, yeah, that's about it for this review of the wonderful Powerade Ultra White Cherry, or what, Still impressed. Yeah, White Cherry. Yeah, just making sure I get the yes. name correct. But um, yeah, that's about it for this video, and uh, stay cool, Powerators. See you later.